Hey guys, what is up? So today we're actually gonna create a Discord chatbot. So we're gonna use Python and Async.io to do this. So stick along if you know Python and Async.io. If you don't, make sure to see a tutorial on it. But if you don't want to, to do it, you can still follow along. So let's dive into it real fast here into the documentation. So this is the official documentation to Discord. And as you can see, there's a lot of stuff you can do in Discord. You can actually do voice support, which is really amazing. Not many application, chat applications enable you to do this, but yeah, thumbs up to you Discord. So like I said, we're actually gonna use Python. And I would say the best library for Python and Discord is to use an API wrapper called Discord.py. So basically an API wrapper is it wraps all this API calls and endpoints and authorization into a simple package that we can use easily. So let's dive into it. First things first, of course, we're going to actually create a directory called Discord tutorials you can name this whatever you want and let's go into it I'm actually gonna create a virtual environment because I don't want things to mix up so virtual and okay so once that's done let's actually enable it or activate it if you're in well, Windows make sure to use this command if you're on Linux use source activate so we're actually gonna install discord.py so yeah here there's two actual uh, libraries to this first library just contains the basic supports of uh, discord and this is there's an extended support for voice so make sure to actually download this if you want to do some voice functionalities in discord and yeah so we're actually going to use this quick example to get our app running so let's actually create a file uh, make sure to use a text editor for this so yeah we're actually gonna create an app.py i'm gonna say this an app.py and i'm gonna copy and paste this so here is the code for this i'm gonna actually gonna give a simple explanation to this so we're actually importing discord the discord wrapper or discord api wrapper before and we're gonna create a class that inherits the client of discord so you have this uh functions called on ready and on message that is in the discord client itself but we're actually overriding it uh, with our own simple blocks of codes like print login as and this uh, actually handles the message so every time it gets a message it checks if the author is ourself and if it's ourself then don't respond to it because it's a message from ourselves but uh, if it's actually from another user we're gonna see the contents of it and if we get ping uh, then we'll spit out pong so that's a basic really basic uh, thing to do in discord and I'm actually gonna create a prefix. So what is a prefix? Prefix is actually uh, what starts the message. So when a message starts with a plus, you know you're referring to this bot right here. So we're actually gonna search for self.prefix plus ping. So it's uh, when it actually encounters a message, uh, let's say a message called ping, uh, it will not actually create, create anything. It will not spit out anything. But if we have a message called plus ping, oops, plus ping, we will spit out pong. So uh, if a bot has a similar uh, command but different prefix uh i would say a hyphen or a uh this thing <laughs> i forgot this name so it can actually refer to none because it's not our prefix so yeah here's uh, a little bit uh, we should take uh, we need a token to run it so you actually want to go to 
this course developer applications and create a new applications I'm just gonna call this pingbot right I'm gonna create this pingbot and we should go to bots and let's build a bot yes let's do it I'm gonna copy this bot uh, copy this token I mean and this is the token so make sure to don't expose this token to anyone uh, and yeah I'm okay because I'm just doing a quick tutorial so basically that's it we can actually run this but before we run this I want to go to out so we can actually invite our bot to a simple simple channel So yeah, I'm gonna put this in testing environment and give it an administrator uh, privilege or permissions. So yeah, just check this out. While that's running, we can actually run this code. Oh, I forgot one important thing to do. Since we are actually uh, inheriting a class, make sure to super this in it basically uh, we don't all want to overwrite the function uh, just uh, add something to the function so that's basically what this is so it's loading our bot should actually be uh, up and running right now so I'm gonna Python app it while that's running can actually yeah see we have logged on as Python so here is the testing environment so when I say plus ping we can actually get pong but if I say ping we won't get anything so basically that's all it is to it you can actually deploy it in your own computer so yeah thank you for watching this quick tutorial hope it actually does good to you so yeah make sure to like this video and subscribe if you like it thank you for watching bye